Hey guys, just want to go over really quickly over the status of the current market. So um, this is basically the yeah, this is just the daily chart right here. You can see that um, Bitcoin just slipped right back into this formation where there's this downtrending uh, level of resistance. It acted as support for a couple of days and then we fell below it. Um, but now we're kind of like ping ponging back and forth between this resistance level again and this uptrending level of support. But um, this uptrending level support ends up breaking. I got a price alarm set at about 39,265. If it breaks below this point, we actually will see Bitcoin potentially drop down to like 37,800. And um, right around there is actually fairly weak support. And we can easily fall right down to like 36,000, 35,800. Um, just so you guys are aware of that potential scenario that that could play out where we fall back down here to these lower levels. Um, in the case that we don't, we want to pay attention to um, this downtrending level of resistance again. Like if we break it back above this, that'll be great. Um, and then we can start evaluating the market at that point. But right now, we're just kind of like sitting on our hands and waiting. If we zoom in on the, um, the hourly chart, you can see that uh, we're starting to get a good bounce. And this could play out, hopefully... Um, this could play out as a um, just a giant W formation and give us a decent target. Um, so if we grab it from the support level to the resistance level, and we put it right back up above the neckline, say the price actually brings us back up here, and then we use this green line as support. And the if we get decent support bounce off of this level, we can see Bitcoin reaching up to like forty three thousand one hundred. Um, I actually have a decent take profit for all the NFTs right about at this level here. But yeah, guys, this, we're basically just sitting waiting to see how the market reacts. Um, if this falls below this purple line and use it as resistance, we can expect it to drop pretty hard. Um, however, if we, you know, like I said before, we get a recovery, then use this uh, neckline as a uh, level of support rather than resistance, we can see it jumping all the way up to around 43,000. Um, but until then, there's nothing really that we could trade off of. We might have this little micro W that we could trade off of. So we can see that we have a, a bottom here and a bottom here. And you can actually see that there's a bottom here. So this can actually be a reverse head and shoulders that's starting to play out. Um, if you want to trade off this reverse head and shoulders, just basically just draw a trend line from here to here. And we want to basically wait until we get a breakout above this. We can enter off a breakout and then have a uh, stop loss right about here at 39,800. Um, if you are a confirmation trader rather than a breakout trader, you're just going to wait until it breaks out and you see it act as support first and then reach the target. And the target for this formation, if you want to grab the non-conserved target, it is from the wick, but I like to do conservative targets from the body to the, the resistance level. And the target would be roughly around 40,300 right at this level of resistance right here that we are likely come to. So that's actually a perfect confluence. We can actually likely be able to play off this trade uh, relatively soon. Like we're on the 15 minute chart. So um, we can probably see an entry hopefully within the next 30 minutes. Uh, I'll let you guys know if um, I'm able to enter that and I will put a, a notification at 40,000. So I'll get notified the moment that uh, we get price action and crossing this. But if you guys have any questions about this, just let me know and I'd love to help you out. Thanks, guys.